Something completely different has been built near the Heights, a development that is off the grid. It's a Tesla powered neighborhood, the first of its kind and the first in the country meant to keep the power on the next time Houston is hit with bad weather. Ron Trevino takes us there to see if these homes can truly weather the storm. Nestled here in the up and coming area between the Heights and Timber Grove, a new development where the builder promises if the power ever goes out in Houston for whatever reason, they've got you covered. Welcome to the Oaks of Shady Acres, made up of 11 homes, three-story detached townhomes with all the things. Tell me about this house. All right, well, as you can see, we've got the elevated ceilings, um, recessed lighting throughout. But Jamie Fallon, director of sales with Next Gen Real Estate, says the main attraction is the roof, made of Tesla solar shingles, which she says makes these homes totally self-sufficient. What's your sales pitch? Why would a Houstonian want this home? Why wouldn't you? Houstonians know all too well about power outages. Remember when viewers called us to vent after Hurricane Barrel last July? I am still without light. It's going, it's two weeks now, still no light, no help, no nothing. It is hot, we're frustrated, we're hungry, we have no help. Something has to be done ASAP. Thank you for listening, bye. Because our power grid is so terrible and we lose power for days on end, I have people that have lost all their groceries, have babies, they can't heat bottles, they have to leave town. These are the Tesla Powerwall batteries. So would you say this is the most beautiful part of the house? Gorgeous, stunning. Actually, this is the most expensive part of the house. The homes are going for prices in the 500,000 range. By the way, she says Elon Musk has nothing to do with these homes. They're using Tesla technology, but the builder is Utopia Homes. There are five homes still for sale here in this development, but they don't see that as much of a challenge as Houstonians start thinking about power with hurricane season right around the corner. Ron Trevino, KHOU 11 News. So, so we need to go back like in November and see how hurricane season went. And well, you know what I mean? The proof is in the pudding. In November, if I yeah. was going to say if we have weather, but I don't want to yeah. put that out there this summer that would require those to And help the out. next ice storm could do it as well. You know, right. we have so many mm. weather issues mm. that can interrupt. Follow up. Yeah, I'd love to see how that. That's happens. why they're here in this market. Yeah, mm -hmm. be prepared. Hey, uh, guys.